Hey everybody, today for lunch I made a hibachi style chicken fried rice using my Blackstone griddle. And whenever I went to edit the video, I'm sitting down and I'm looking and I guess I never pushed the button, the on button, to start filming the video. So I shot an intro, but I didn't film it. But hey, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. So anyway, I hope you stick around. Hopefully you enjoy the video. And hopefully you notice that I never filmed actually putting the sesame oil on the chicken fried rice. I did put it on there. And anyway, the ingredients will also be listed on my cooking blog. First thing we need to talk about is I got everything ready. I've got my rice laid out. I got my chicken over here. I got my veggies laid out. I got a plate. I got everything ready to go. The grill's heating up. I got it on like a medium heat, just heating up the grill. Uh, I got everything in place, except I don't have a spoon, and I'm going to need a spoon, so I got to go get a spoon. So go down your checklist, make sure everything's where you need it. I got my spoon. I've got my grill on high now. It's heating up to high. First thing I'm going to need, I'm going to need some oil. Now this is my rice. I cooked this yesterday in the Instapot, left it in the fridge overnight. And then this morning, I kind of broke it up into smaller pieces because it was a big lump of rice. It's short grain rice. I prefer to use short grain rice. That's what the Japanese typically eat. All right, so let's take our rice. See if I can get it out of here. See, it's still a little bit sticky. Spread that around. We're going to start cooking most of our veggies. I'm not, go I'm not ready to do the zucchini yet. But the carrots, onion, mushrooms, those are all going on. Get some contact going here. Chicken. This has been marinated. I took and uh, did a typical did a little sake. Soy sauce, salt, garlic, cornstarch, mixed it all up. So our stuff's been cooking a little bit. Oh my God, oh my God, the veggies touched the raw chicken. Start giving these flips. Rice got a little color on that side, not a whole lot. This is the hotter part of the grill. This part tends to be cold. Let's give our chicken a flip and see how it looks. Oh yeah. Get some crust on that side. Let's move the chicken over here, put our veggies on. Rice trying to jump down that hole, get away from us. Best part about this thing is you get to play with your food. Oh, got a piece of chicken over there. You're not ready to go in the rice just yet. We are ready for the zucchini. Get that going. Like I'm getting a little dry, and this bottle's hot. All right, there we go. A little oil. Put the oil bottle a little further away from the heat. When I flip our rice over, it's starting to get a little bit of crispiness on that side. So we're going to mix all this up right now.
plus we're going to season it. I'm going to put some butter in here. That's real butter. I'm going to save a little bit of butter for my uh, eggs. Soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Give this a good mix. Melt that yummy butter in there. It's time to cook my eggs. Put a little oil down. Butter. Eggs. Eggs on top. Now we're going to cut our eggs in. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn the burners off. I probably made our Uncle Roger cry enough. At this point, I'm ready to serve it up. 